dear friends this is my tutorial 10 so many people requested uh, to how to do dftu calculation using wasp so i'm going to explain how to perform dftu calculation in wasp uh, first i will show you the ceo2 so ceria is the insulating material non-magnetic rare earth oxide it has a cubic fluoride structures with four cerium atom eight oxygen atom per unit cell and an experiment determined that its parameter is 5.411 okay this is the ceo2 1112 into two cells unit cell i created uh, for, for your reference so here i am showing some references uh, how they used dftu values so this is the one of the papers uh, natural communication and published in uh, maybe the recently one i did not mention your date so in in this uh, papers they used the u effective values uh, u effective values of five electron volt for uh, cerium metal so next uh, this is the one one more important reference channel of physical chemistry so in the, this is the junli group in shinghua university so you can also find the dftu values for uh, the cerium oxide is the u effective 5.0 or for the cerium 4f state okay and also third paper also uh, i have ref uh, checked that uh, that paper also for a cerium inorganic chemistry paper here also they used the u effective value is 5 electron volt so if you see these uh, three papers uh, natural communication and uh, general physical chemistry C and the inorganic chemistry paper they are everyone used uh, U effective value is 5 electron volt okay so actually that that three papers uh, uh, Junli papers they referred uh, this paper only in this papers they uh, use this is published in surface science so in this paper they also use U effective value is 5 electron volt okay so uh, so in, uh, they also referred one more paper uh, some other studies in the, the 43 i will show you the next where the um, where the value of is 6 point ev was used okay so this is the that paper uh, actually in this paper if you see this is a journal of electron spectroscopy so in, in this paper you can see the u value 6.1 ev and the exchange values uh, that is j value equal to 0 0.7 so if you subtract 0 0.7 with uh, 6.1 means we will get the 5.4 the u effective value is here is 5.4 so they compare so in this paper they used 5 they are saying that uh, this is uh, reasonable uh, with compared to that paper that's why they adapted for u value u effective value 5 is the, the, the this paper so, um, that's all that's why we will also use u value 5 for our calculation and uh, check the uh, how its calculation is going or not so now we will go to uh, see our in -call file So the, this is the C, I already created that CEO2111 to into two surface uh, for DFTU calculation. So this is the in-core file. So I already discussed that uh, geometry uh, in core file for geometry optimization, single point energy calculation, some other electronic structure calculation. So now these parameters are similarly the same only. There is no there is no change. Here also I used uh, uh, DFT D3 approach and also this and cut also 400. Uh, this uh, a diff and also 10 to the power of minus 6 and 0 0.02 a diff G. So these are the same only. So and also one more thing, I am going to tell you the magnetization. Here also I I I turn on the yellow orbit line uh, to spin orbit coupling. So and also I used the magnum tag. Uh, even this is a non-magnetic material. So even though we need to mention the magnum, then only we should not get some error. So that's why I the first one is that oxygen atom 24 oxygen atom is there for that i mentioned 0 0.06 so 12 cerium atom is there for that i mentioned 5 
uh, 5 un unpaired electron for uh, safety I mentioned 5 but actually there is no unpaired electron in the system so one other things is the DFTU parameters what you people requested to do video on this topic so first you need to mention LDAU2 then switches on DFTU calculation so second one is LDAU type so this is also important one this is this there are one, LDA type 1 and 2 and 3 basic simply people many people will use uh, LDA type 2 only this is the simplified approach they are saying oh that's it uh, then LDA UL okay a LDA UL L means the quantum number so actually the so if you see our postcard file this is our postcard file the first oxygen first uh, series is uh, oxygen atom second one is cerium atom okay so for that the first LDA UL minus 1 the, why we are giving minus uh, one year means uh, no u well no u calculation will perform so we are mentioning year three three means three means f group electrons okay if you are using a two uh, that is a d group electron if you are a d group electron like uh, magnesium oxide titanium oxide uh, cobalt oxide uh, whatever nickel oxide if you are using you can use a two if you are using a f block element like a cerium thorium uh, niobium some other things you can use three okay you understand this one i think so then lda uu value this is important value so actually people so see uh, for cerium i used here uh, five for oxygen we did not uh, mention those just i put a uh, zero zero for oxygen so this order should based on your postcard file you you uh, you you, sh you should do carefully this one then the lda j value u j value that as i mentioned is zero zero actually the uh, i will tell you one important things the u effective means so we need to subtract with a u and j value you will get the one value that means a u effective value so basically u effective value uh, for all the paper what i already shown here they used the five value just i used the five so j value i simply put zero so if you want to mention j value just you can mention six year so you can mention one year so then if you subtract you will get the five the actual u effective value is five the calculation will take care that one so if you don't want to do like that just you do uh, put u effective uh, five year that's enough for your calculation that's all then uh, Lamax mix you, if you are using different kind of metal oxides so, so you can uh, check some reference paper based on that you can arrange your uh, u and j value or u effective values so please understand this then Lamax mix so this is uh, six for the f block electrons uh, so if you want if you are using uh, d group metal oxides just you can use uh, four so other well, other important uh, one is LDA print so zero is it won't print any this uh, LDA U parameters or related the results related to that one so if you put zero it won't write so if you put one write occupancy matrix so I also no idea clear idea about this where to use how to use but that will write, write this data here I will show you in the out car so if you mention two so that will use uh, th th that will write with a potential matrix also combined with one and two that will two pin it will write a uh, occupation occupancy matrix and potential matrix in default this is zero that means it no don't write anything so la sph true this is uh, another important parameter if you are using metal oxide uh, kind of things so just you uh, turn on this one la, LA sph true so this also they mentioned very important if you are doing this metal oxide calculation mm, that means a non spherical contribution from the gradient correction inside the pore spares spares will be the included as well like that they mentioned so if you are using this uh, metal oxide just you can turn on this one so this is the important parameter for ldau calculation so you can uh, carefully check based on your metal oxide you can alter these uh, parameters and also the magnetization this is very important so do your uh, 
calculation you will get a good results so then i will show you my postcard file this is my postcard file and this postcard file contains uh, oxygen 24 and a cerium 12 atom so here also i fixed uh, do the selective dynamics so selective dynamics means we will fix the bottom layer so i will show you in that uh, So here with this bottom oxygen and this is uh, second layer cerium and this uh, third layer oxygen we are fixing. So I al already fixed that one. This is, if you are doing the selective dynamics calculation you need to type selective dynamics here after uh, atom and numbers. So we also I also fixed the atom here. So first oxygen uh, uh, 448 atom. Then I re re relaxed other atoms and then we I fixed a cerium 4 atom. So this is the cerium 4 atom I fixed and other cerium atom top um, 2 layer cerium 4 layer uh, oxygen atom relaxed. So this is the postcard file what I used for the DFTU calculation. And uh, this is a K point file. So I am using a simple gamma point uh, to for for means the so if you use gamma point it will calculation will it will do fast compared to that MKK point. So for uh, you are for uh, for for that YouTube uh, calculate um, video I just I mentioned the gamma point. If you want you can use higher version of K points to get the accuracy uh, more good accuracy of your result. So then we can see our port card file. So this is our port card file. You can check your uh, port card. What are the atom present in your port card file? So uh, oxygen is there and also cerium is there. Okay, the two atom we present here. That's it. This is like simple summation term. I already discussed many times this one. So this is the dftu calculation input files so just you can submit this calculation uh, using your supercomputer i already uh, did this calculation so i think completed also i so i already downloaded that output file so this is the output file uh, what i mm, did a dftu calculation <laughs> so this is the optimized uh, concar file so you can use for further calculation if you want to do single atom catalyst so you can make a single atom wherever you want oxygen vacancy create oxygen vacancy put your uh, single atom and make your uh, single atom um, catalyst so then i will show you the energy so you can go to wasp document you always use that uh, notepad plus plus so so this is the our uh, wasp out file so you can see here yeah. so our calculation reached record accuracy stopping structural minimization so our energy of the system is so this is the one two nine point two nine zero four three zero one three so plus zero point three so we need to put your uh, dot uh, you have to change this in 290.43013 for your calculation this is actually 10 to the power plus 3 so that's all you can use this one so thank you for my, watching my video if you like my content please like subscribe and comment and share and also click the bell icon for my future videos thank you for watching thank you for your valuable time thank you very much